How is it going everyone? Dry FIFA here. Welcome back to episode number 25 of my Manchester United career mode on FIFA 15 season 2. And of course guys, we're playing away to West Ham. They can be a bit of a problem team when it comes to of course the physicality of their team and how big their players are. So you know set pieces are definitely going to be a problem. So we need to be careful. We need our three points to continue of course our assault on the Premier League. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're playing, of course, at the home of West Ham. Uh, these, this team really is a problem team when it comes to set pieces uh, from corner kicks and so forth. Uh, under Carl, I'm sure if he's playing, he's going to be a problem, so we need to keep an eye on him. But apart from that, shouldn't be too much, but again, you never know. All right, guys, so let's see what West Ham are going with. They're going with a 4-1-2-1-2 formation. I guess, again, you can say the 4-4 uh, four -four diamond formation. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting one. You can see Valencia is playing, Carl is playing, Nolan, Noble. Um, quite a bit of players that can definitely cause some problems. Uh, very good at set pieces as well. So we need to be careful, especially on the Carroll. Uh, we're going, of course, with a 4 2 3 1 formation. A few changes. Vita up front with Rooney in behind. Depay, of course, and Yanez after his performance. We definitely want to have him to the squad. And Snell in the Carrick in midfield. All right. Close him down. Come on, guys. Ah, look at the run. Look at look at the guy running there. How are you guys not mark him? Come on, man. Oh, my God. And he still managed to get an attempt on goal. Good save there from the hell. Jeez. And this is what I was talking about, man. These guys are pretty good. All right, look at the run. Right. Vito, cut it back. All right, go for it. Oh, good attempt there from Vito. Ah, he got that one out pretty quick too as well, man. A player, he's a really good striker. Just need to get a little more playing time on this belt. I think I'll try to give him a little more playing time as well. It's just that Rooney and Hernandez are definitely ahead of him, to be honest. But he's pretty good. All right, look at the run. Ah, it's too much on that one. Too much power. Ah, win it back. There we go. Ah, can we get to it? Yeah, we can. All right, come on. Nice one there. Come on, turn. Rooney. Ooh, off the upright. Oh, my God. So unlucky for Rooney there. I thought it was definitely going in. All right. Put it back. Yanis has been playing really well. The pay is well on the other side. All right. Snadlin. Snadlin. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Snadlin got his goal. Oh, my God. What a good attempt there from him. And, of course, hugging, of course, the line. Um... I'm, I'm really surprised no one tackled him or tried to close him down. He was just so, I mean, Snodlin's a big player, though, and he's pretty strong on the ball. But, man, I was expecting him to close him down, at least close him down. Uh, see, he got the ball here. Look at that. And he just run two defenders on him. And look at that. The defender, they're just backing up. What were they thinking? <laughs> what was going through their mind? Look at that. The only two defenders of running him down was the two that he passed already that got beat. You can see they're chasing him down. But the other two were just backing up for what? Close him down so he can't shoot. It kind of goes off the inside of the upright and in. But we'll take it. Good goal from Snodlin. I bet he's happy. He he'd uh, over the top. Can we get to it? Cut it back. All right. Oh, my God. Vito has been so good, man. His footwork is absolutely crazy. All right, come on. Nice. All right. Can we go for it from here? Pay. Ah, over the top. The pay has been so good too as well this game, man. And his footwork is really good too as well. <laughs> what a bargain of a deal we got for him. And he's in a, a real squad as well. Alright, come on guys. We need another goal. Kill this one off. Alright. Alright, snuggle in. <laughs> oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? He got a second goal. Are you kidding me? I wasn't expecting that to go, and I wanted to test the keeper. It didn't seem like he has too much off his line, but I wanted to go for it just to see what would happen. And it actually went in. Are you kidding me? It actually went in. What was the keeper doing there, man? Pretty much sleeping. Absolutely crazy. I need to see the replay from that one. So Snyland picks it up here, cuts it back, and then use the, the defender there. Or use the player there, rather. And then go for it. So I don't know if the... the player there was blocking the view off the keeper but look at that man absolutely crazy maybe the keeper should be doing better there too as well well you can see the ball is way over him man so there was no chance he was going to save that look at the bench there absolutely loving that one snuggling all right so we're pretty much on our way to winning this one 
Just need to not concede a goal. I hate conceding goals, to be honest. Let's see if we can get another one. All right. Carrick. Oh. I thought it was a sure goal, man. We couldn't put it away. Oh, they're showing the goal line technology. So no goal. So it came off the post. I thought it might have been inside and came back out. But look at that. Ah, that works. Ah, come on, man. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Crap. Crap. This is not good. It might switch momentum in their favor, which we don't want. And the man I said that's going to be a problem for us, Andy Carroll. And look at that. It's not even from a set piece to as well. <laughs> How ironic is that? I've been talking about and worried about set pieces and stuff and giving away free kicks and corner kicks. And look at this. It's a friggin' uh, open play he scored from, man. Look at that. What a nice pass. And he just hits it one time into that far corner. Beating De Gea. De Gea probably should have done better there, to be honest. But look at that. Beautiful ball. One time hit to as well. All right, guys. So that is it. Uh, we managed to hold on for, of course, the 2-1 win. Uh, a bit, you know, a bit sad that we can see the goal, but hey, whatever, man. All right, guys. So as you can see, I uh, wasn't the, I wouldn't say a, a dominating performance, but we did, of course, have the far better of the chances. 13 shots, eight on target, 53% of the ball to their 47. They had three and two on target, as you can see. I uh, look at their shot accuracy a little better than ours at 61 percent and of course you can see our pass accuracy as well wasn't the greatest uh, for both teams in my opinion even though it's always was better but snarling definitely man of the match he was absolutely outstanding boston midfield getting two goals as well pretty much winning us this game uh just a shame that we conceded the goal but nevertheless guys we're happy with the win all right guys so we were playing of course at old trafford against crystal palace and uh crystal palace in my opinion you don't know what you're going to get with them uh, one minute they definitely give you a tough time but then another time they don't so let's see what happened there in 15th position we're on 66 points let's see if we can keep it going all right so we're going with the 4 2 3 1 formation Hernan is up front one matter in behind Di maria and royce on the wings with gustavo and pogba in midfield uh this is going to be an interesting one because um you know Di maria really isn't 100 percent fit uh but i wanted to put him back on the wing because of his pace and, and then of course substitute on um probably bringing out the pay or somebody switching royce probably on that side again and seeing how that work out for us they're going with the same formation a 4 2 3 1 formation um Bolassi is definitely one to look out for. All right, come on. There we go. Nice win there. Jones, why are you all the way up the field, Jones? This is what I don't understand. It doesn't matter how much you tell him. Ah, come on. Oh, my God. I was talking too much. <laughs> I was talking too much there. Ah, nice win back. There we go. All right, Hernandez. <laughs> Ooh, what a save there from the keeper. I thought it was definitely going to go in. Of course, obviously, I saw the keeper off the line. Wanted to go for the chip pass there. And, of course, the keeper's equal to it, putting the one over. Wow. Uh, oh, my God, off the upright. Are you kidding me? How did that one even went through, man? That is absolutely crazy. That was a good free kick. That was a really good free kick. Alright, All right, so we're going to go for, of course, the edge of the box again. See if we can get a hit onto this one. Ah, look at that. They're blocking us off already. One time. Oh, my God. Another save from the keeper. Right on the stroke of off time, too, as well. We're in stoppage time right now for the first half. And look at that. What a save. <laughs> keeper having none of that one. He said, I'm not having it. Oh, my God. Let's see if we can get one. We need to get a goal, man. All right. I uh, play that one. There we go. Uh, look at that. Look at their closeness down. All right. Ah, uh, look at the run there. Play it across. Gustavo. One time. Ooh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I love getting my goals, man, in the first half because if you can, you can continue the momentum in the second half. It makes it a little bit easier too as well. And that's what we wanted. Uh, that's what I always try to do. I'm always about getting the maximum amount of goals that I can. And of course, guys, we got a first goal that we wanted. Uh, we definitely needed this one because we've been playing really well, to be honest. Um, they have really been shutting us down pretty well, defending well. But we've been by far the better of the teams, in my opinion. 
and deservingly definitely got their first goal probably should have been more goals than that to be honest uh, the keeper has been really terrific for them and keep him in of course this game so hopefully we can continue that in the second half and of course hopefully win this game we're running out winners Ah, uh, they're turning up the pressure. Oh, what a save. Damn, they're turning up the pressure, man. I thought we would come on out going blazing. We have, but, man, they, they haven't really sit back. They've really been trying to go for it, man. All right, guys, so we're bringing on Guy Tan and the hair, and, of course, Gondogan in midfield. And let's see if Guy Tan can definitely come on the wing and create some magic. Um, yeah, Gustavo and Papa just tired in midfield. And uh, we want to definitely have a, a different flair to, to the wing. And you've got to run out to his walk. He's been complaining. <sighs> this is getting so frustrating right now. All right, let's cut this one back. All right, go for it. Oh, again, are you kidding me? Come on, man. What do I have to do to score? All right, there you go. Play it out to the wing. There we go. Marco All right, Royce. look at the run. Come on. All right, come on, Hernandez. Hernandez, slow roller. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. And the dying minutes of the game, too, as well. And the 80th minute of the game. I know they absolutely probably ate that. Uh, but I think it's deserving, man. We've been really holding our own. And, of course, and I really shouldn't be saying that because we're Manchester United. But we've been holding on because they definitely have been trying to get back into the game and uh, making it difficult for us, you know, really difficult for us. But, man, we just weren't having none of it, man. And uh, they definitely, definitely <laughs> ain't going to like that one. But, I mean, I'm happy with it. What a goal. Nice little slow roller there past the keeper. Dove the right way, but too much pace in the ball. You can see there's reaction is really late. Uh, what a goal. Hernandez, get in. All right, guys, so that is it. We managed to hold on. Look at that. Marco Royce is absolutely happy. I'm sure he's happy with the fact that we're putting so much distance between us and everyone else. And other teams are climbing up the table now, too, as well, like Manchester City and Chelsea as well. But winning 2-0 at home, very good. Keeping a clean sheet, three points in the bag all our way. I'm happy. All right, guys, just look how dominating we were. 11 shots, 11 on target, almost 60% of the ball. They had six shots. Three on target. Look at our shot accuracy, 100%. Obviously, uh, but look at that. Our passing was the same as Mount uh, as there is 76% for both teams, and that just shows you how good they were playing. Um, not that the stats are very good, but to show you how good they were playing to keeping us at bay, and at the same time we were keeping them at bay. So we kind of cancel each other out uh, again in midfield, which is really surprising. Again, we were playing the same formation as well, so not too surprising. But Marco Royce was man of the match again. Absolutely outstanding performance from him, setting up goals, and he was just bossing it. Uh, so definitely deserving this in space in the squad. All right, guys. So that is going to be it. But look at that. How interesting is that? Another game at home, of course, against Crystal Palace in the FA Cup. I'm sure they're going to be looking for blood this time around, especially since we just beat them, especially losing that second goal in the dime minutes of the game. Should be an interesting one. Definitely stay tuned for that one. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new here and enjoy the content. And of course, as always, I'm your host, Jirai FIFA. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.